Four milli. Crowd goes in it. Couple more in the bank. But we keep down the rhymes. Can't have it too much. See up on my back. Lost when I drop the fingers on the tide. It's cool though. Cause she tell me she love me. But does she love me? Cause she want me for my money. Oh, does she want me? Cause she knows that I can get her in places. Even way I see where life takes me. Shout out my brothers from Beta Squad. My brothers, we drop it on Saturday. We tryna hit 10 million. Just got real silly. And I even got a pot with the broski filly. And I. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I got, I got a new brand now. now. I, I guess, guess it wasn't really part of the plan now. Wear clean hearts if you really want to stand out. If you're on a Monday, put me up a tech on Tuesday. I was in a rolly by Wednesday. And on Thursday and Friday and Saturday, but chill on Sunday. And with that being said, yeah, man, you should wear young Philly. Yo, my people, this back. big rock club chunks, man. Yes, yes, yes. How are we? Good. Oh, they can't see the new mugs. All right, then. All your listeners, yeah, they're holding the I chunks. wish they had it all the way around because now I have to sip like this to show the logo. Bro, it's a bit weird. Why is it on mm. this side? That's very dumb. But you know what? Thanks so much for anyone that sent this. Yeah, that's so right. Yeah. Should be this episode, I can drink it. No, because you could be a left-hander. All right, then. But guess what? 83% of the world is right-handed. Actually, 84. Oh, wow. I've checked recently. Yeah? Uh, on my studies. Fair play, man. Yeah. Left-handed studies. Yeah, right yeah, studies. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, people loved the last episode. They did, you know. Yeah. Um, I had my boy KGD shout at me and say to me that I hate you for the fact it's not one hour and a half and it's only one hour. H- how long would you lot like the eps? Because I think an hour is long. Let me know. In the, yeah, let us know in the comments. How do you feel about an hour? I think hour is perfect because like for me, I'm not really a pod man though. Because there's couple, there's pods out there that are three hours, two hours. Like oh. SDS, SDS Roundup every week that they do is two hours, 40 minutes minimum. No way. Mom's life. And I watch the whole two hours, 40 minutes. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Over two or three days though. Okay. Yeah. I was going to yeah. say, cause that's a very, very long time. Um, but yeah, man, it was nice. It was nice. Um, glad we spoke about Palestine, free Palestine one more time. All the time. Um, all the time, um, until they're free. Um, but yeah, man, I feel like we, we got some really, really good feedback still. Um, Amazing. Really enjoyed it. Um, here I've got what you, what kind of YouTuber would you like to be? What kind of YouTuber would I like to be? Yeah. So like, if you had the choice to be like, for example, like produce content, like a Mr. Beast, like a Nico, like a... To be fair, you kind of do it on beta, but let's just talk about your individual channel. Because I would love to do videos like Nico, but sometimes I think to myself, well, where do I start? Do you want me to be honest? I think for me, the reason I produce the content I do on my channel is because my idea creation is like very limited. I don't have the most like creative mind, but mm. I feel like what I'm good at is developing ideas. So what I do for beta sometimes anyway, is we'll have an idea and then I'll try and make it better. Okay. So don't... for me, like, I feel like my, 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 my video ideas are very like basic, but you get a lot of personality through them and just rawness, which yeah. I feel like what made me in the position I'm in today. Yeah. Whereas I feel like Nico has his own lane, Mr. Beast has their own lane. So for me, I'm kind of happy with the lane I've taken. Obviously it's very limited because I don't think you'll get past the three, four mils subs- uh, view, view marks. What? No, like the three oh, views. views. I was going to say subs. No, so I'm, I'm on free, but yeah. I'm saying like views. So for example, Nico can get a video on 20 mil norms. Mm. It's mental. You get it? Crazy, yeah. So, and I don't think I can do that. But I'm happy with the lane I've taken. Yeah, so am I. Um, but again, if I had a magic wand and I could be like, yeah, let me do content like this guy, I'd pick Nico. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I feel like that's what makes uh, me and you special is the fact that our content is so raw um, and people get to see us for us, essentially. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, but guys, also let us know in the comments as well if you're watching this on YouTube, what kind of debates or conversations you want me and Philly to have? Because it would be nice if they actually chime in and say, you know what, what's your opinion on this? And then mm. we actually go, oh, you know what, this is our opinion. So that would be good as well because I feel like we're just vibing right now. We're just having fun. Right, here's man. a question: Do YouTube do YouTube awards? Yes, yes, they do this. No, no, but not like invite people and go, oh yeah, so the the best, the most viewed video no, for uh, content creators this year is. I think I think the streamers do something very similar. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, know. the streamers do, but forget that. Do YouTube? I don't think so. YouTube, you so. should do that, you know? Have like all the YouTubers from across the world and give out awards. I would be sick in it. So if there was the award for the best content creator. This year? Yeah, who would you give it to? <laughs> what? Beta Squad, I'm giving it to Beta Squad. No. Genuinely, hand on heart. I think we created some incredible content this year. Okay. I think we've gained a lot of subscribers and the people are rocking with us to the point where we're being compared to the Sidemen. So it's like for us to do it, consistently for two years and already being compared to someone that's been doing it for 10 years, it shows how well we're doing, you know what I mean? So you wouldn't give it to Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast, I feel like he's the messy of, of YouTube in terms of like, you can give him the Ballon d'Or every year, but it's kind of boring. Like, but it's, but it's, if he's, get, so like, but if Messi's scoring the most goals every year, why doesn't he deserve it? 
I'm not saying he doesn't deserve it. I'm just saying I think Mr. Beast is the best content creator, but I feel like my favorite are obviously Bates God. Maybe it's biased. I don't mm-hmm. know. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I just love watching our videos and, and being involved with them. Obviously, we've got some geniuses in the team that help us. And and some great guests that make appearances quite uh, regularly. Yeah, yeah, of course. There's this guy called a young joke man. No, I, th- I think it's Philly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, he's, he's, he's class on there as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's quite good. But if, actually... I, if I'm not going to be up our own ass, then yeah, I'd say Mr. Beast, obviously yeah. for me. He's like, any upload he has, I can watch, man. Best video you lot filmed this year? In your opinion, Ooh. forget views, forget views. If the America video was this year, I'd say that one. Um, I think there was this year, to be fair. If not, the one of the Australia ones, man. I love when we jump out and, and, and catch a flight somewhere because... It's very, it's, it's enjoyable. It's not the same London type of content, but I would probably say, yeah, that America one, when me and Nico were a, 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 a couple, like in, it was called, we were in a, in a group together and then we ended up creating like the best content ever that day. Man. What was it? What was Mall the- of America. Then we had to go, um, what the hell was the video? Wasn't it the one where we started from Minnesota and then we went down to watch Kenny's fight and Kenny sets us challenges. I think it's that one. Yeah, that, that was my favourite video, probably. Uh, is it the one where he's in a press conference and he's gone, yes, so Beta yes, Squad, yeah, I have a challenge yeah, yes, for you. Yes, 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 Cold. Yes, yes. Yeah, I've pr- I'm pretty sure this, that was this year. Cold. Yeah, that would be my favourite one. Man. That was a really, That's really my good video. video of all time. That was a really good video. What about uh, you? Uh, huh. I do watch, but I just... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah, listen, be... I do watch. That no. means he doesn't. It's fine. No. We'll move on. No, let's go. <laughs> So yeah. what other awards are there, Lawrence? Um, Awards-wise, we've got uh, just on... Best agent manager. <laughs> best agent manager. Best agent. Best I'm manager. Do it. <laughs> Upload agency. Love you guys. Yeah, for real. Online personality of the year, male or female, who have you got? Because obviously we're doing it kind of like the Oscars where it's like, you know, a lot of the time men just pick men, women pick women. Oh, well, like, in that case, then give us nominees then. Ooh, interesting. So do you want to do YouTube or do you want to do just overall online personality? Overall online, I think. Are you like, cause could we include movie stars in this as well? Nah, I think they're too clear. I'll just I'm talking about the quote unquote, you know what? Go on then. Yeah. Yes. Cause and speed as well. Yeah. Speed Speed's broke the internet yeah. when he finally met yeah, Ronaldo. So I think that that was his arc that he built it up. Like, I feel like he could have met him much earlier, but he wanted to make a whole storyline, like a storyline around it. The fact that he was going to different uh, Man United games and couldn't see him. Then he went to Saudi, couldn't find him. You know what I mean? And I feel like speed is definitely up there. But for me in terms of, um, I think Speed has charisma, but Kai is very smart, in my opinion. Yeah, Kai I is feel like unbelievable. That the streams, streams, the streams yeah, the, the stream of Offset, for me, I was involved in maybe seven hours of it. Like I generally watched so much of it. Mm. I remember waking up being excited and seeing Offset brush his, brush his teeth and it was incredible, man. And then I also think to myself, who else even has that kind of pull where they're gonna go get one of the biggest rappers in the world to stay with you for 24 hours yeah. in your home, yeah. in that room that has the cheetah rug that needs a little scrub. That rub is, that, that rug is, honestly, Kai, if you're watching this now. Yeah, yeah, cause you're our brother though. Yeah, so yeah, don't take this. I'm gonna even get him on the pod yeah, soon yeah. as well. That was, that's probably the worst rug <laughs> I've ever seen in my life, that carpet. Just please, for God. I wish the fireworks burnt it that day that they did that, man. I hate that rug so much. Like it gives me a headache when I'm watching the streams. You know, I watch the streams like this, but the audio listens, I'm covering my eyes. Like, I watch it like that, man. Yeah. yeah, I love you, Kai, man. <coughs> I'll give it to oh, Kai. Oh, actually, Beta's got an A&B video this year. The box, you were in it as well? What, in terms of what? One of the greatest videos. I think that was an absolutely yeah, incredible video. Absolutely. No incredible. music. No, hey, yeah. How does it go no again? Music. Hey, yeah, no, no music. music. Yeah, no incredible. music. No music. I enjoyed that video, yeah. Yeah, very good video. But now, I think I'm going to give Kai a content creator, yeah, maybe. Yeah, for, for Mel. For female, for Mel. who are we giving it to? Female. What female content creators are smashing it? To be fair, we have to give a big up to Maya Jama uh, in terms of just being uh, what she's done this year with Love Island. Do we call her a content creator or a presenter though? She's just a She doesn't actually create content though, does she? Uh, yeah. She gets booked for a job. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But in terms of, obviously I feel like you can kind of just involve her in there because I don't, I don't know many. Neither do I. That's what I'm trying to say. Female content creator. That I like doing iconic stuff on the level of Kai because no, I can name loads. Go on. Nella, Grace. Uh, uh, G- G- GK Barry. GK Barry. Um, there's this other girl called Madeline Madeline that I think is super hilarious. Um, wow, that's it's it. limited. That's what yeah. I'm trying to say. You, just, you can name loads. So I feel like for me, I'm gonna just probably give it to Maya just in terms of what she's done with Love Island this year. Rimmel. Uh, she's got Dolce Gabbana. What was she's the cover? What's that? Vogue. Vogue. She done Vogue. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like she's done some monumental things this year. Yeah. Um. So big up to Maya. She was all smashing it, man. Go on. What other awards are there? Uh, best supporting actors. 
I feel like this is a category. I feel like, like it's got to be me, you know? No, I don't care. Let me tell you why. Yeah. I'm the guy that jumps on the next man's video and I elevate it. Yeah. Okay. Genuinely, I feel like I deserve that award. And you know You're what? Meant to... We're going to give Philly the award of best support. I, 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 I can fully agree. I know if Philly is in a video, it's going to be, it's going to go well. Yeah. And it's going to be hilarious. So I can't, I can't even lie. Look on what that. I did for Sidemen, uh, 20 versus one. Yeah. It's not the best, not the most viewed anymore. Though. I love though. What's the most viewed? Uh, I think Kaiser Knight. But, that makes you like no, it. but that's because he's got a bigger audience. You could argue that mine could pretend. Nah, his was better. When he <laughs> grabbed that bar, bar, bar let's get uh, ahead. And then when I can't like, you're on sniffing the seat upside down. It was. Let us know in the comments what you think. Is yeah, it Kai, Kai's. Um, or Speed. Speed's up there as Kai's well. Kai's Speed or Philly's 20v1. Which one do you think is the best? Is? Mm. I'm genuinely going to say yours. Yeah. Maybe because they're one of my best friends, but I don't yeah. know. I'd say either mine or Kai's. It kind of suits you too, because like the list of names here are for real. Like Oscars, who win Best Supporting Actor, is like Morgan Freeman. You're so Morgan Freeman. Yeah, he looks like mean? him as well, to be fair. What, you think I look like a Morgan? Yeah, Morgan Freeman. No, I don't think I look like a free. I just clocked his name's even wise. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> he wants free man. <laughs> hey, Morgan, sort yourself out, man. Change that surname. <laughs> You're not clocking it. Yeah, yeah, Morgan yeah, yeah, Freeman. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you five guys. It's not me, never. <laughs> Why? <laughs> nah, I, like, I like one gal. <laughs> that's a good man. Yeah, one that's gal. a good man. Yeah, <laughs> not five guys. <laughs> I can't lie, if you go five guys, crazy. Yeah. And if you're going to Subway to get a foot long, I yeah, good luck, man. These are the best wife for five guys. Man, don't and also Subway, guys. bro. You're getting there to get a foot long. That's crazy. <laughs> or a six inch. <laughs> However you're feeling. You're just hungry for it. It's mental, you know. I can't lie, yeah. Subway and five guys. <laughs> that's, that's out of the vocab now. McKeon, go there. And last award. Last award to wrap up this section. So what I want is like your personal favorite. So I'm not thinking like the biggest one, the one that's got the most numbers, the video on YouTube or whatever platform that's left the biggest impression on you, which makes it, the best. Uh, uh, sorry about this, but I'm about to say Mr. Beast philanthropy video going out to Africa and building a hundred wells. That video, oh, done. absolutely oh, done. incredible, man. Really? Like it's because it's something yeah. I've always wanted to do. Uh, get my philanthropy bag. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the funds like Mr. Beast one day, but um, that video for me was absolutely like I, I was in shock. I was in awe watching that. But if it's not that one, what would you say? Because I'm no, I, I, off the top of my head, I can't really think. I, I, I'm gonna. You know, I'm, my mind's gone blank. I'm, I'm gonna stick to that only because sometimes, like, it's so easy to focus on the things that make you laugh, all the humorous stuff, or like mad entertainment stuff. Look, Lambo, this, yacht, that. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But that was amazing because it it was like a gentle reminder, <clears throat> like, yo, give back if you're in a position to. Yeah. Anyway, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And even though when you think you you don't have enough to help, like every little helps. Who says that again? Who's 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 slogan is that? Uh, Tess. Tess. Yeah, yeah, Tess. Um, so I feel like, yeah, I feel like Mr. Beast is, uh, what was the title? Building a hundred wells in Africa. Something like that. Something man. like that. But I feel like that was the best video of this year. Um, if Log it's Logan Paul's dropped off a little bit. He used to make the best videos on YouTube, period, in my opinion. I never watched Logan Paul, oh, you know. Brother, he was absolutely, absolutely incredible. He's done like a couple, but like it hasn't been anything compared to that video where he did at the end of the year. I think it was just before the Japan thing. Like he had uh, absolute incredible video, man. Like... For, yeah, for me, Logan Paul used to be one of the best creators, but now he's too focused on making billions, which is fine. I'll do the same thing. What's Max's surname? He makes videos similar to Nico. Fosh. Max Fosh. I think he's unbelievable. Fair play. I watch him very, very, very often. I think he's <laughs> unbelievable. He, I watched this video the other day that he opened up a company and it became the richest company. In, oh, he's brilliant. Him and Nico need to collab. Yeah. Lux as well. I really like Calyx. He did, oh yeah, he yeah. Did, come a, he on, did come that on. golfing video. I just know him as Calix. He did that col golfing video where he he kept hitting shots. I just saw him, you know. It. That's crazy. Is it? Yeah, just outside. Just uh, I was coming in, I was like, yo. And because yeah. basically I was in an Uber and then a woman in front wasn't moving, but then she, my Uber didn't understand that the woman needed to yeah, she good needed story, to let Good story, man. Yeah, good story. Uh but I'm gonna shout out to yeah, Calix. I think Calix was got a had a great video in there where he um basically did a golf <laughs> He tried to make a hole in one, basically. I think that video was incredible, to be honest. But. Do you guys not rate the series that Nico had? What, the Menace one? The thing was the Menace one, I, I've seen it like seven months before it was meant to drop. Do you get it? And mm. obviously Nico comes home and, t and tells me what he's recording and that. So Nico, for me, is genuinely my undisputed UK GOAT. Like, and I will always say that. Like um, the way the guy works, I'm, I'm lucky enough to be his friend so I can see how he how he works, how he plans videos. I generally don't think there's a brighter man on, on YouTube when it comes to like the UK. Like I think he's generally the GOAT and I've been saying that for for years. I want to shout out my brother as well, Gideon. 
Um, he done something. He stopped YouTube. Amazing. He stopped YouTube to follow Christ, and I think that is amazing. You got to respect it. You don't have to be religious to respect a man following his faith. Um, so yeah, brother, I hope your journey with God goes amazing, um, and I um, can almost guarantee you that you've inspired so many people across the world to get closer to their faith, even if it's not Christianity. Um, amazing. It may it inspired me, and that day I even picked up my Bible and read and read Psalm ninety two. So. Um, yeah, thank you for doing that, brother. Trust me, you've, you've touched a lot of people's hearts. We are going to miss you, Julian. Yeah, we Incredible are. Incredible content creator. Can I ask you one final one? Yeah, yeah of I think you it's can. pretty obvious. What is that on my. T- is this. A, what's this? Is that Clean Hearts Comes? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's mine? It was, it was, what's that? I don't know. Yeah, look, they're eating, man. That's why. Daddy, go on, go on, Lawrence. You can put your toenails on the t shirt. Yeah, put toenails no. on the t shirt. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. Huh? Look, 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 today. <laughs> Oh, you finally fixed those disgusting nails of yours. No, yeah? that was a day off, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm not perfect. Like, I can't look leng the ass all the time. When have you ever seen my nails before I'm gone, yeah, black the ass, dirty? It doesn't happen, bro. That was just one off. Once in a blue moon. Yeah. You get me? Most well, people like... don't take a day off their nails. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the... Wait, 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 though. Because they're thinking, Ra, who's the other voice? Oh, yeah, Lawrence. Shout out to Lawrence. Well, yeah, that's my shout boy. out our brother Lawrence, man. If you know about podcasting, you know about Lawrence, man. He's been in the game for since I can remember, man. And we're lucky to have him on the team. Yeah, so, thanks. Lawrence, it only makes sense to get him a mic as well, man. He knows what he's doing out there. Yeah. He's roasting yeah. Philly so far. <laughs> Best drop of the year, like in terms of clothing, because you've had some, you've got some, you've got a lot of friends who made a lot of clothes. Yeah. Clean Hearts is sort of a side thing. Primo, 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 primo. I mean, no, yeah, no one comes close. No, no, I'm, I'm gonna say Primo. Primo for me this year have been has uh, it's been incredible. He's 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 made some incredible pieces. Only started last year, and the last drop as well has been absolutely incredible. Amazing. The cargoes for me, Primo, Sharky, and Av have done absolutely incredible. You can see uh, Philly's just standing standing up to show us his trousers. Primo, like, Primo for me, yeah, it's probably been a good drop. Split that as well. Shout out to City Boy Mo and G'd up. Uh, I need to introduce you to them. I'm a very good kids. They have a great clothing back called Split That, um, and that's been incredible. And of course, can't forget Clean Hearts, man. Yeah. I think they've done a great drop recently with uh, some jumpers and a couple of tees, and the tees are still on the website as well if you want to buy some. Oh, so, the uh, tees are still available. Yeah, it's just the hoodies that are the sold, out. sold out. Uh, the, uh, uh, the hoodie sold out in 24 hours. Uh, but you know, at the yeah. end of the day, I couldn't do it without my team. Yeah. And um, I had to beg, cry, and hope for mine. And eventually, I got mine. Absolute lie. Well, like his one got sent out to me. You were in Vegas. They, it didn't. Yeah, it with your other friend. Trust me. You don't even want to see the texts that I, I'll send the jobs. Absolute lie. Please, brother, can Absolute I have lie. one? Oh, bro, we're tight at the moment. Absolute lie. Well, lie. I was struggling a little bit to. No, no, no. But it's cool, man. Grateful and, and blessed that I've got my Shut one and up. I can be part of an Shut iconic up. movement. Don't forget HP. And HP yes. with his We Are Winning. Um, I haven't, I already got one shirt though. Yeah, and I haven't seen the new drop. He keeps on- Oh, he's showing, he's showing pictures of it. Nice. Yeah, if it, if, it, if it comes out like that, then it's absolutely incredible. Because you know how sometimes you can send over a design and it doesn't look like how it comes. Yeah. But yeah, that's my content creators of the year, man. I know yeah, I'm missing out on people. I know I'm going to get home and be devastated because I'm missing someone. But mm. I think the people Ooh, we need to look out for. This, this, this are, we, are you gonna say that? So for the listeners, I've just done a face because it's, bro. I was just about to say the same thing. It's yeah. so easy to talk about the people that are like on top already, but there's so many content creators um, that deserve uh, more limelight on them because yeah, I, they're just I've so good got, at what they do. Got two in my head. Um, who is one person that you'd really like um, to be in a better position, or you feel like deserves to be in a better position because they're good? Daniel's Dunya. Absolutely. Don't know doing your... I'm gonna show you him, bro. Put me he's, on. He's hilarious. Like I got, I got that same feeling watching his videos. Like when I did with Harry Pinner. Like he's bro. Yeah, yeah, he's that's raw. a big statement, he's, bro. Like bro, I DM'd him. How about that? I DM him the other day, and I haven't done that since Harry Pinner. Like DM a content creator. So for me, Daniel's done yeah, next next up in my opinion. Dope. Um, and if not, like, there's a girl called Ava Hiron or Hiron. One I don't know how to pronounce her name, but she's hilarious as well. Dope. Like those two for me. I think they deserve a good 2024, man. Um, I've seen Ava do a, uh, some things with um, Nella and 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 uh, what's her name? Claudia, I think her name was. So she's on her way up, man. I think she's very, very good. Very yeah. good. What I've about got you? three. Mine's LBMM, Sam Ham, um, and Digilent Cow. Um, LBMM, I saw you. He, he's in the thing with you, isn't it? Yeah, I stream with him quite. He doesn't speak much, though. I stream with him quite. Oh, he, he does. I, I was watching the stream, bro. Oh, well. You look nervous, you, man. Yeah, well, Wake up, man. Well, LB, you hear that? Speak up more, bro. Yeah, man, get involved. Because I think it was you, Lando, uh, Angry Ginge and him. No, hear the names that we're playing Fortnite with. Obviously, yeah. Ginge, LB, we already know that they're, they're the brothers then. But Lando Norris is a regular 
Fortnite player with the boys now. He's going away for a week now, so we won't be playing with him for, for, for much longer. But it was good. For the little two days that we played Fortnite heavily, it was, it was fun. We didn't get one win. <laughs> <laughs> In two days playing Fortnite. Yeah, Bro, that's over 100 games. We didn't win once. <laughs> yeah, shit. Oh, speaking of Fortnite, um, you should go check out my streams uh, on Twitch, uh, Young sense. Philly. Uh, the other day it was really good uh, because Trunk set us a challenge, a really good one. And he had to pay out 9K if I got 12 kills and won the game and we didn't do it. And then Trunk's phones me absolutely buzzing. But anyway, moving on. So um, this next section is talking about, would you ever do a podcast with your partner? <laughs> me? Yeah, I know you're very private. Never in a million years would I do my uh, any type of content with my wife. No way. Okay. No Ooh, way. Oh, let's say if your wife wanted to. Uh, I'm going to have that disclaimer from the beginning when okay. we start speaking. Uh, why? I, I, for, why would I never do it? Mm. I feel like I've got my private life, my Amin. My name is Amin, of course. I've got my private life where it's just Amin enjoying himself with his family, friends. And then I've got that life where I show to the people, which is chunks and kind of, it's like a bravado, a persona. I feel like I have two different characters when I'm Amin and Chunks. It's like some alter ego shit. It sounds weird, but you know what I mean? I feel like it's like working nine to five. You know what I mean? I feel like I had that Chunks persona, but then I prefer being in my Amin bag. Mm. Why the hell would I bring my private life into the Chunks bag? I don't mm. get it. Mm. Like I've always really appreciated privacy, which is the reason I haven't put my sisters or my mum online, my brother. Um, so I think for me, I want to keep certain things private and I want to keep certain things public. So and um, my wife is just under that umbrella, which is privacy. So, and also it's like, you have to have some type of heshad. We call that heshad in the Somali. And it's like, have some type of respect about you, your life. You know what I mean? I don't want to show, showcase my wife and everyone see her. And like, oh, that's Chunks' wife. I've always hated that. Mm. You know what I mean? I, can, I would never in my, in my life, inshallah, if I get married, take a picture of my girl like this and then put it on. So if your girl's a media. supermodel? I couldn't give a shit. That's my supermodel. Why yeah, but then, no, no, but the point I'm trying to say is that it's no longer private because your girl is but I'm, on I'm, the cover I'm, of I'm Vogue. I'm not going for that. Yeah, but you, you, sometimes, I understand that. I'm saying but then, I'm having conversations with my missus okay, about but in some, what her future plans okay, are, what she wants he, to do hear all that. But in sometimes, haven't you fell for someone that you didn't think you would fall for? Let's just say, hypothetically, obviously, hypothetically. hypothetically okay, yeah. okay. Let's just say that woman was a supermodel. What'd yeah. you do then? Would you, would you then tell yourself mentally, let me stay away from this because yes, she's yes. in the public eye? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, so, bro. yeah. I'm Gal, not, if you're in a public eye, don't even bother. No, I'm, I'm not going for that. Yeah. Me personally, bro. So yeah, that's not something you'll do, yeah? Nah, I, I can't. I can't, man. I, 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 don't, I, I like to keep my life private and I don't want my relationship. Well, to the point now, if something, one small thing happens and then it's all over the blog pages, uh, drugs, uh, Mrs. Uh, piss off. Mm, fair piss enough, off, man. I, 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 Lawrence gave me a really good idea before we started the pod and I would do it. But then obviously I don't want to do it forever because I do want to get married and start a family. But it would be sick if girls I was dating, I'd done a podcast with. So it was my show though, mm. but my guest each time changes based on who I'm dating that month. So it could be Britney yeah. and with Britney three months, me and Britney fell through. Yeah. Now I'm seeing- Yeah, but you're just giving Britney clout. I'm not bothered. Is it? Yeah. And then she starts making videos about and then the real truth about Philly. What's the real truth? Nice guy, loves God. Looks after his mum and his sisters. About Sometimes like, has black little fingernails. Yeah, and horror nails as well. Yeah, wood long. Wood left. Yeah, why yeah. is that? Why is that bad? I don't know. I just don't you like know that. the rule, me bro. I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't know. I just think content wise, imagine like you lot. Imagine a podcast like that. Like every other three months, the guest changes, and it's the person that the guy's That's dating. hilarious. I that think. that would be gold. Yeah, yeah. I just hope it's not me. Girls... I'm giving an idea to someone else. Yeah, you yeah, lot like, take that. the girls meaty, like in terms of personality, it's just it's just dry. Nah. Or what if the girl I, I, doesn't want to do it? You know how many girls don't want to be online? I, well, then that's fair enough. It's yeah. just, again, Example, hypothetically, yeah, yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, me personally, I wouldn't see a girl that had a dry, dry personality. If you had a girl, yeah, would you put it on socials? No, but I would do little things to show that I've got a girl. Okay. So like, hand we're out holding. for Yeah, I need to do that. We're out, out for, for dinner. dinner. You get holding. me? Just like that. You know when you hold your hands like that? Yeah, but you see a black nails on the kind of camera though. No, nah, what have you? <laughs> look, man, look. That was an off day. Okay, good, good, good. Cool. Um, if there's any foot surgeons out there as well, man, if you can fix my feet. <laughs> foot surgeons? No, my feet are wrong. No, no, they're disgusting. It's, do you know why they like that? Football. Yeah. yeah. It's football, man. Colombia and that. You play with socks. No, I used to wear tight football boots. So tight that my toe, my big toenail used to bleed. That's how tight they were. What size is it? Four? No, like, like size seven and I'm at eight. But oh. there was this Colombian coach that used to train me called Pichua. 
Mad Pichua. Name, the cold name, Incredible name. He was called Pichua and he used to go, when your boot's tighter, you connect with the ball. See what I'm saying? He's not lying though. You get what I'm saying? He's not lying you connect though. with a ball better. I think, I think someone did that as well, a footballer. Well, I think it was... Um, uh, the Liverpool, Summers Summers mid. Yes. Yeah, Summers His dad told him to keep on wearing size eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or yeah, seven or like that. Or six, yeah. one of them ones. Yeah, he's a small foot. And yeah. even that Watford, I think it was Ruben Neves or, or Jao Moutinho. Did that, why did that you go Saudi, man? Oh, don't Martino. even start with a football chat. No, Neves. Uh, yeah. he, he lost his mind. <laughs> Big baller for the Prem, bro, and he's gone to play in the Saudi League. If you're, ten, if you're getting offered 10 more times, how much bread you make, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. I think, I think it depends on what you want, innit? I, like, I want Moolah. If you want to leave an amazing legacy, then going to Saudi right now is not going to help He don't care you. about legacies, he's at yeah, Wolves. Yeah. Some people do, though. No, he doesn't. Yeah. He clearly doesn't if you go to Saudi Arabia at the right page of like 28 or 29, yeah. however old he is. Um, but to summarise it, I wouldn't have a podcast. <laughs> Can I ask one question? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I would. You, you ever seen LeBron James' feet? LeBron James' feet? No, go on then. Show me. You're going to want to Google it. Like, just... LeBron James' just, feet. Right now, uh, we're literally, literally trying to check LeBron. To be fair, hey, though, hey Siri. he can have the worst feet in the earth. What wants. does LeBron James' feet look like? Why are you asking Siri? Because it will like get a picture up. Never. Look, bro. We'll check it. Oh, goodness gracious. Great balls of fire. Those feet. Great balls of what? Fire. Look at that. No, why they're, does they're that layered. toe curl up? They're layered. They look like fucking <laughs> no, stairs. No, it looks like... They look why like I stop stairs. taking what's in my brain, bro? Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. What? That's crazy. I don't want to take stuff anything in the brain. And, and no yeah, no, that. brain is like a wise... Aye, his toes... <laughs> that is the worst toes I've seen in my career. The worst of mine? Yeah, guaranteed. That makes me so happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but to be fair, he's a goat, so he can have these toes. So I'm not a goat in my life? No, you're not, you're not a goat. Not a goat. Could you what what even makes you a goat? The greatest of all time. I think Being me, the yeah, best in your field. Yeah, but then it's also like a goat is overused though, if we're being honest. Because look, Ronaldinho, uh, okay, Ronaldinho, what is he? An amazing player. Okay, uh, Ronaldo. An amazing player. Oh, so you don't say these men are goats? How? If they ain't got more goals than Ronaldo or Messi? But I'm just saying, what is Ronaldo? A goat. Well, whoever's got the most goals is a goat. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, so who, what would you call Messi? The goat. And you got more goals than Ronaldo? I don't know about the goals. I think Ronaldo well, he's, more, he's won more uh, Ballon d'Ors. Yeah, but Messi has. He's the goat. Fair play. Isn't it? It's got to be the... Gr yeah, but I could call them. What would you call Nico? A very good YouTuber. KSI? An elite YouTuber. Oh, you KSI, you want to say the GOAT? How if it's Mr. Beast? Because KSI is the GOAT of the UK. Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah. We're, yeah. If we're sectioning it off, then, yeah, he's the GOAT of the UK. Uh, but Mr. See, Beast no, but I, is the GOAT of I, YouTube. I, I overuse the frame, uh, the phrase GOAT. Yeah? Like, yeah, maybe I do. Because I say Saka's the GOAT. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. No, Saka's amazing. Though. Yeah, he's absolutely incredible. He's amazing. That's a star boy. He's amazing. Whoa. Bukayo. That's my chant. Uh, Bukayo, I love you. It would be amazing if Arsenal did that. They did. They put on their TikTok like three times. No. As a chant in the stadium. Who can say, well, because what's your chance? Me. Uh, Arsenal. 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 With the pride of South London. <laughs> South, South London's London. number one. <laughs> With the red and blue, <laughs> and you know it's true. Horrible team, oh, man. Crystal Palace is a horrible team. We lost team. to Luton. Yeah, no, bro, why do we go back to football? We just love ball, man. <laughs> is it injured again as well? Yeah, good day for the ball. I put them on FBI for no reason. Is I'm it? Yeah, and now um, Elise's back, though. Yeah, scored, scored on his little return. Yeah. But um, seriously, imagine you go back to someone's house mm -hmm. and you you know, you know wake up next morning or whatever, lovely big bed, satin sheets. Obviously, Philly's got satin sheets. And then... You guys, Silk pillows as well, so the girl don't get their hair tangled. But I, I'm a deeper guy, so you lot will know about that. So anyway. I don't know about it. I've, yeah, because certain girls have to put on bonnet so their hair don't tangle up in the morning. But obviously, if you've got silk sheets, then they ain't got a button. I'm too deep. Anyway. I've set the podcast up. We're ready to go. Like, imagine you wake up to that. First, oh, wake first up to day. John just being like, yeah, come on, Susan. Like, me, me personally? No, just like- oh, You can't try it with me, bro. I, I, I'll be honest. I think it depends who I'm dating. Because that's why I gave Chunks the mad example of like, if your girl's in a public eye already, then I don't think it makes any difference of you trying to be super private because your girl's probably more bait than you. If my girl was in that light already, then I'll do it. It's only going to bring us more bread, better for us, build a bigger yard. Do you know what I mean? More opportunities for our future kids. But now if my girl's a private woman, then I wouldn't do that, bro. Would you say everything on the podcast? Would you be one of the people where you're like, if we have an argument, just, we're going to be arguing on the podcast. Just so you are, like, mine comes from a personal standpoint, yeah? Because like, my older sister tried YouTube for a bit, yeah? To the point that she got a first big shot, which is being on a series that Chunks had on his channel, which was called? Good videos. Chef Chunks? 
No. God knows, man. Anyway, Chunks had a cooking show on his channel and my sister got to feature with the likes of KSI, Chunks, just to name a few. I was meant AJ to do one, Darkest. I didn't do it. AJ Darkest. And then she started getting, all her comments were mainly positive, but the five ones that were, the five that were negative absolutely ruined her mental. Bro, she never done YouTube again. So then I look at that side and I think for someone that isn't used to that already, trying to bring him into that and having to deal with like, Negative the mental comments. side of it, when things are not like all the way up, uh, it's just headache. I'd rather not. Do you know I get asked to do quite a lot? Uh, uh, lies, because I haven't been I haven't been asked in like the last three years. But Love Island. Oh my god! Do you remember the year I, I yes, got asked I and do. I told you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would never do. Never do that, man. Yeah, never. Never, never in that. a mill. Yeah, they just mm. put you in a box, you know. Unfortunately, I mean, if I could see the edits. Before they come out, <laughs> then I'd, I'd probably do it. But, but like, you want I, creative control? Yeah, because I could be funny for like five hours, or maybe not funny, entertaining, or say things. But and, and all of a sudden, I can say complaining. Yeah, yeah, like why do you only use salt, uh, salt and pepper for your foods? And all of a sudden, oh my god, Young Philly says white people only use salt and pepper yeah. for their food. Like it's just long, bro. <laughs> yeah. Allow me, fam. That like the media's horrible, but I get it. They've got to like create Good a villain, story. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. they sell more papers and that and articles, but. Yeah, that's long. Miss me with all of that. Um, You'd be good on Strictly Come Dancing. Do these people get paid a madness? Because what I've been offered is not a madness. Well, like, I make more off YouTube. Well, strictly. What, what I've been offered for some of these shows. Yeah, it is. Because they, they don't really rate their content creators like online and that, uh, social media stars and that. They just think they're kind of meaty. Mm. That's my opinion. Dancing the cha-cha. It's Philly and Linda. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that, and that, that with Linda. But okay, I've, I've got a confession. Yep. I can't, well, I can dance. Cause you've seen me. No, I've no, got, you, I've, you, no, 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 allow me, allow me, allow me. You miss me with the banter. I got rhythm, I can move. Yeah. But now to go and one, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, yeah, eight, and yeah. one. I can't do that, Who, bro. Okay, who's about to dance like me? Be honest, bro. Be honest. <sighs> okay. Me? Uh, I just sh shakes my brother's hand uh, for the audio listeners. Chunks is a very good dancer. The guy can move. And you know what makes you a good dancer? Yeah. It looks good. And then you also can be funny dancing. Yeah, yeah. Like what was the dance music? Um, the... I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do the you horse, remember? Horse rider. Yeah, there, there was a, a yeah. horse rider. Crazy. Yeah. Um, but Crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not for good. But you see, um, I do want to do Big Brother, you know, celebrity Big Brother. That would be cold. I would love a celebrity. That's basically a locked in, but just on a. Yeah, 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 yeah. I still have. Please give me a celebrity big brother bag. If they do the next celebrity big brother, I'll be on it, you know. There we go. There we go. I'd want to do that, you know. I've always been a fan of big brother. Davina McCall. Um, who's, who's, the, who's the girl after Davina? Emma Willis. Emma Willis! I don't know, man. This is Channel 4. Your live, your live on Channel 4. Please do not swear. Yeah, Big yeah, Brother yeah. was probably my favourite show back in the days. Uh, the first thing I'd say, yam shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to start a new section. Actually, no, you can introduce it, Lawrence, because it's actually your idea. So you introduce it. Who knows if this is a good section? We might never no, use it again. I, I feel like it will be because I feel like from the last ep, people really were liking ranking the source list. So this is quite similar, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, kind of. I think it's like a sporting idea. Start bench trade, right? Yeah. So you start a player, you put a player on the bench and you sell the other one, right? Yeah. And trade him. Uh, so we're going to do that, but just with normal everyday, Random things, yeah. Random yeah, things. It. Yeah, it's fun. Do you guys want to start with food or cars? Food. Food, okay. I was going to say cars. How are you for breakfast stuff? Because I'm thinking pancakes, waffles, French toast. Any of those? All right. Yeah, there we go. This is a good one. Very good one. Pancakes, waffles, French toast. Third waffles. Let's get rid of waffles. You're my guy. Yeah, they're not really for me. That's an no. American thing. Yeah, that's not really for me. French toast, number one. Yes, so we're starting French toast and pancakes is on the bench. No, but now if we're talking Malawa, which is the Somali version of the pancakes. What, the little thin joint? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Malawa's number one. Malawa's number one. Malawa. Yeah, but, but, but pancakes, I'd say two in terms of just a conventional one. Mm -mm -mm. French toast for me, universal. Yeah, Absolutely French toast incredible. is crazy. Yeah. <gasps> Do you remember the French toast in Qatar? Up! Oh! I miss it right now. Oh, oh no, the pattern in Qatar is different. I'm dropping I was that video like today. a shake. I'm dropping that video today. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's a good video, bro. You like it. Is yeah. it a good one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't see it before it comes out? Uh, no, I can show you in the break. Oh, nice. Would you? 
you can't just say like what happened with the French toast in Qatar. It's just you two just had a moment. Oh, no, it, was just, it was just really nice. It was, that, that was, was that nice. Was it. It was like, nice. What do you want us to say about it? We it, woke it was, up, we woke up, we ate it, and then we enjoyed it. Yeah, like, what do you want us to say? I had the mouth right bread and sugar. Like it was just really nice. No, but like so there's so many different categories of French toast. You can have it like with, have you ever had it with stuff inside it? No, nah, that's too much. No, that's, that's 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 what, what I'm trying to say. People yeah. like to complicate things, bro. Just <laughs> yeah. French toast is French As toast. In, I'm talking about the normal French toast, cinnamon and some uh, maple syrup on there. Just a, a slight drizzle, just so it doesn't overpower the flavor of the French French. You Icing sugar? Trying to say? Icing sugar, maybe just a little one, two, not too much. And then that warm as well, cut them open, bite them. It's hot, it's sweet, it's nice, it's right. No there berries. Sorry? No berries. No, no, you're stuff. doing way too yeah, much. See, you're, wow. you're a berry Brother, coolie. Yeah. I know you're a little berry coolie in it. I know. I can tell. You give me berry coolie. Look. It's never a berry nah, joint on nah, the berry toast. joint's never for me. I like just that. I don't even mind a cut fruit just on the side of it, though. Don't put it on top and overcome it. Side of it, though. Yeah. Blackberries. Where did that sound like that was from? Manchester. Yeah. 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 Side of it, though. Yeah. Manchester. Yeah. Boston. That's another question in itself. If you could live anywhere else in the UK, where would you live? Qatar. No, UK. UK? Oh. Uh, <laughs> this brother, no. Oh, Qatar obsessed, is in here I'm and obsessed, in here I'm for obsessed. you, you know. Uh, Manchester. Manchester, I would still. Would you? Uh, uh, yeah, good scran up there, Manchester. Yeah, I'd probably go Manny as well, just because i got loads of friends there. Boring question. Um, let's do cars. <laughs> start, start bench trade, cars. Aston Martin. Wait, wait, do you want us to do it? Do you, should we do it collectively again? Yeah. Okay. Aston Martin, Ferrari. Do you say Porsche or Porsche? Porsche. Porsche. Last three, two, one. Aston, Aston Martin. Martin. You're my flipping yeah, yeah, yeah. brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bench three. Wait, 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 wait. What was the Think last logically. No, but he don't know no, about cars bench. like I do. Uh, bench, yeah. Three, three two, two, one. one Ferrari. Ferrari. <laughs> yes. Porsche is not right, man. No, Porsche. Porsche is not right. What? 911? Yeah, yeah. GT? Yeah, yeah. Wait, did you not say you want your next car to be an Aston? Yeah, but Porsche, Porsche, <laughs> Porsche makes the best cars ever, bro. Yeah, in terms of Porsche, it, it doesn't, doesn't make... matter, bro. But Stuart's upset with that. What, what, are you saying, what would you have put? For, what I would had you have? Tycoon, and it was the biggest pile of shit. Yeah, because he got a fucking Tycoon. <laughs> it wasn't a 911. I no, yeah. Back after three months. Like yeah, he didn't did like you? It, no, yeah. his wow. bread is long. <laughs> Man said I bought a Tycoon. It was a pile of shit. Sent it back after three this months. Electric off, That's why. Yeah. Yeah, for me, I I'm think... not on that. I got. I, I like to start my cars in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but, but the G wagon don't do that. Anyway, yeah, um, does do that. <laughs> Chunks loves my G wagon so much that he asks to borrow it quite often. <laughs> quite often, I do it three times. I asked him three How's times. How's that not quite often? Three times uh, in the in a year and a half. Yeah, but you done it three times. Close together. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I might as well use it because you can't yeah. use it. Final start bench trade. Yeah, final one. Driving, not driving. No. Um, okay. <laughs> this is Christmas films or like holiday films. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you good for that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You might agree or disagree on this. Yeah. Home Alone, Grinch, Elf. Free. Okay. Free. What, in third position. Yeah. So, so uh, what was it? Start bench. Start bench trade. So okay. trade is just get rid. So, so trade. we're going with trade first, yeah? Three, two, one, elf. No, I knew That's why you're that. not my guy, Grinch, man. Grinch, bro. No, That's Grinch. Bro. No. Are you, right, you do about... your own list. Do your own list then. Now you do your own list. Okay, so I will trade Elf. Yeah. Grinch is going in on the bench and starting his Home Alone. Home Alone first, Elf second, uh, Grinch third. Crazy. It's Grinch, Jim Carrey one. And then uh, Elf, the second one is, what's his name, my, my brother? Will, Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell, yeah. Ab Will Ferrell. Ab he cried, was it, Santa? When he was screaming. That made me absolutely cry in the Grinch cinema. Grinch says, Santa as well. No, he doesn't, he doesn't. Not he like does. me, no, no, he doesn't. He does. No, 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 he doesn't. You, just, you see, you're just talking too much. Generally, I think Home Alone, Macaulay Culkin, you have to shout him out, man. But the fact that his mom lost him three or four times, she's taking a piss. Yeah. How many How many Home Alones were there? They're three. taking them away. Yeah, there were three, but there are only two in Macaulay Culkin. The third one, people... Oh, well, I don't care about that one then. But What's he on now? What's he on now? Please what? don't tell me he's gone left and Hollywood uh, took alone. his life. I see. He's a drug I, see I saw pic pictures of Macaulay where he was just done at, man. Drug, drug out? Drugged off. But do you know what it is? Why you does know Hollywood you, do that to people? You only make it as a baby, bro. He's what, 9, 10 making it. He's Bear chill, Mills. He's chilling with Michael Jackson and that. Like, you're just doing wrong things. Oh, is it? Yeah, but oh, apparently... Sick, he met the he met the goat. They used to chill with each other all the time. No way. Yeah, but obviously Macaulay said he didn't do nothing dodge. So obviously shout out to Macaulay. But what I'm saying I, I is- I don't know about this. Yeah, what? But yeah, Home Alone 1 and 2, good piece of work, man. Yeah. 
That for me, when I've seen that on TV, I'm watching it, bro. Yeah, cold, Guaranteed. Cold. Um, also, let us know in the comments below what you would have started, benched, and trade. It was absolutely hilarious reading your comments in terms of where you rank sources. I just want to give um, an honourable mention for a man that lost his soul in the comments. He said he would put Sriracha sauce top as his number one sauce. That is absolutely insane to me. Do you know another bit they loved so much as well? Yeah. Is the role play. So I feel like we need to make this like a, 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 a every episode. Okay. And we need to act out a, a role, like a scene. Is there anything so far that we spoke about that we could role play on? I feel like I can give you some dilemmas and you can role play some dilemmas. Yeah, we're going to okay, okay, do cold, a role cold, play. Cold, 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 cold. Cold. You know, just on follow up on Home Alone, do you think you make it through Home Alone if you're that kid? No. Yeah, I am. No, this, this guy, bro. I am. You know why? Come on, bro. At that so age, you would have been a little scared, you. For me, oh, I was. This I guy was, is so annoying. I was getting in scraps nonstop. No, I was the jarring. Ga- okay, jarring. I'm joking. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Like, we, bro, we wouldn't survive. Bro. No, no, no. I'm, you think I'm making. What making... I would have done, I would have left my yard and let them have it. <laughs> yeah, I swear really, to you, same. rob everything. Yeah. I'm chilling at the police station. No, no, I'm going to go my back. uncle's yard because I think his uncle, his uncle's lived there or something. While I'm calling the feds, I'm out of there. Yeah, I think bro. I'm scrapping these guys and doing little. Nah, I'm not on that, man. Really? Yeah. But now, I, yeah, I, no, I just I wouldn't. I just wanted to say because we're talking about Home Alone, I thought about the scene where he's got the TV on and he pretends that he's shooting. He goes, oh, it's God, that is an amazing film, isn't it? Was it and and, she, and was it? Oh, I forgot the fucking Merry scene. Christmas, you filthy yeah. animals. animals yeah. And a happy and new year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then when he comes back to say this, he's crazy. I don't man. know what I thought of Scarface. Say hello to my little friends. <laughs> I'm lost my mind. I feel like as a kid, you you know, if they did like Smileyland, Home Alone. Yeah. <laughs> Chunks would be that kid. Do you know what I mean? No, he wouldn't survive. <laughs> what? Who, who are he, you? He'll be in what's he that pancake? He'll ten. be he'll be in that pancake. Like, you know I would have punched him. What's that pancake pan- pancake called? Malaha. Malawa. Yeah. <laughs> Malaha. What's yeah. it called? It's Malawa. I can say empanada. You, you can't I can, you yeah, can't say that. We don't say that. Empanada? What do we call our pancakes? Hey, um, my Latin American people, what do we call pancakes in in, See, yeah, in Spanish? Joke, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah joke, yeah. man. You guys asked for some weird ones last time. So I think some people have sent some weird ones as well. Fuck's sake. So uh, if you were a chair, which celebrity or person would you like to sit on you? <laughs> yeah, Oof. he lost his mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> These are crazy faces. Also, which part of your body would be the chair bit, like the bit they sit on? I know it would be your No, waist. no, no, right. it, it wouldn't. It would it would just be, be my arm because I want to be, be respectful. Oh, you're not your face. You're not someone's in the face. So whose box would I eat is your only ask <laughs> um, Have you got a celebrity crush apart from Laura Lander? Because you said that before I was boring. I think I'd go for a mature box. A mature box is fucking I think I'd go. I think I'd go Jay. J-Lo. <laughs> Do you know how old she is, bro? 50? She must be reaching. Um, J-Lo age. We're Googling J-Lo's age right now, uh, audio listeners. Who remembers, who remembers? Years 54, old. yeah. She did that dance. Go J-Lo. She was crazy back in the days. Yeah, J-Lo. No, you know actually, what? no, I don't know, you know. Hey, you know what's crazy about J-Lo, yeah? Back in the days, they used to think she had the whammest backs ever, right? She had the biggest bunda, right? You know, if you compare her bunda right now. So what, the current bundas? How, when did that change? Yeah, Ice Spice. When did this all change? Ice Spice. That's crazy, isn't it? I don't know when it changed, but right now I'm thinking about I Spice <laughs> sitting on me. <laughs> I pick I Spice. Carl, when she, I saw her performing and she had this little red dress on. It was basically a live strip club performance. Yeah, Carl, yeah, mental. The whole bat you was hanging out a door, could see the ooch, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd pick I Spice. Well, you like a little Afro that's going on? I, I, she's health and wealth. Yeah, yeah. Take no bamba seed. Okay, right now she's on this pod right now. Now nah, be respectful. How oh, is it? What, what? was she doing? Was she flat either? Oh, yeah, then can. I flirt back. Yeah. Yeah. Live O. Yeah, live O. Yeah, you're the guy. You know nah, me, I think not... you'd be scared. All right, cool. He's just saying that to get a reaction <laughs> out of me. I'm not a shy you. I'm, I know my brethren. He just wants a reaction out of me. But no, I'd be nah, respectful, little, man. A little, little shy you, man. Shilly. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm I'm not always like that. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for the face. I'm for the face, audio listeners. Um, yeah, who would you? I'm not saying that. No, because you could you could have gone deep and gone, your chair's the foot, and you want Michael Jackson to sit there and ask him your, your, how we done it. You know what I mean? Yeah, it don't have to be sexual, you know? No, I, I, actually, it'll be, it'll be like this, so my arm will be around them. 
and there'll be Damon Wayans and then he sits down and I managed to have a conversation with Damon Wayans. Fair enough. I and love him so much. My arm round, Denzel Washington, chopping it up. Oh, fair, so yeah. it wouldn't be your face uh, with Ice Spice's backs? I won't eat a bum. You wouldn't? Nah, not a bum. Oh, okay, cool, fair play. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. Why is that weird? Well, I just thought that would have been like your first thing. What, to eat a bum? Yeah. No. no. What's her real name? Ice Spice. Yeah. Um, Felicia. Felicia. Yeah, Felicia Spice. Yeah. The fact you believe me is crazy. No, I did not believe you. Oh, not okay. for half a second. Yeah. Her not real name half. is Isis. <coughs> That's crazy. Is that actually? Mm -hmm. Isis Gatson. And her real name is, her, is That's why she Niger. made Ice Spice because she doesn't want to be named after a terrorist organization. That's mad. Yeah, Isis is but crazy. But her name's her name, isn't it? That's crazy name. Shout out to her much. It's a beautiful name for a woman though. Isis is actually a really beautiful name. Yeah, it is. No yeah. cap. Yeah. No, it is. No cap, it is. Still sounds a bit mad though. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit mad. <laughs> no, that is very mad, in fact. <clears throat> Dilemma number two. Yes. Love to you guys, but my dilemma is what's your best way to move on from a girl? Simple. Leave time to time. Um, I think in my moments like that, I just left time to time. Literally, I, it's going to hurt, isn't it? It's like when I've had like family members pass or like someone I care about pass. And like people have asked me that question. I just got to leave time to time. You've got to accept that you're going to be upset one day when you wake up or there's gonna be certain things that remind you of that person. So you just gotta leave time to time, innit? Mm. And depending on how close they were to you or how much time you spent with them in your life and how much memories you created, you're never really gonna stop thinking about them. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. It might not be as heavy, but for example, like one of my favorite restaurants, if I was to now go there on a date, I'm gonna sit there on that date and think, oh my God, the last place I was here with was my ex. Mm. I'm not gonna sit there and think about it the whole night, but it's going to be a thought that enters my head. So. Yeah, just leave time to time. You? Yes. Um, so he wants to, what's, what's his question again? Sorry, bro. I spoke for a long time. No, that's all good. It's very simple. What's the best way to move on from a girl? Yeah. So the advice I'll give to him is just to give yourself time to heal properly, man. Yeah. I think for me, a lot of people like to try to move on quick and find a rebound and forget about the girl and think they have this automatically. They just, because most relationships don't end amicably, innit? So I feel like they have this resentment towards the person like, oh, F them, that they weren't shit anyway, et cetera. And then you just kind of go angry instead of actually just being sad because it's okay to be sad and, and upset that you've lost somebody. Yeah. So I feel like, yeah, giving yourself time to heal is the best thing and enjoy your family's company, enjoy your friend's company, do things that you weren't doing when you had your girl and just try to enjoy life and work on yourself. I love that's a big cliche because a lot of people be like, I'm working on myself right now, but I feel like it's underrated, man. Just just go out and enjoy yourself. And the gym helps too. Gym helps maybe get new hobbies that keep keep your like mind clear off it. And Ah, yes, yeah, yes, man. that's a good one. That's you know a good I mean? one. That's a good and one. also, number one thing, delete her off everything. Delete your uh, ex-partner off all social media and delete mm. cut ties as well. Yeah. Don't try reaching and say, Hi, how's everything been? How's your new man? Is he matching you like I am? Like I did. <laughs> Look, don't do none of that. Like, don't try to flip in rekindle as well. Like there's a reason it finished. I I've never understood uh, splitting up with somebody then getting back, then splitting up, then getting back. That doesn't make sense to me. Because mm. there's a reason you split up in the first place. You know what I mean? Mm. I feel like, but then I'm sure obviously there, there, there is success stories that yes, they, just... they're, they're, there's been someone that's been split up and five six times, and then they get back and they're married with three kids and they're happy, of course. But I'm saying majority of the time it doesn't make sense to be with someone that you split up with four times and you've had arguments with because there's a reason. Yeah, majority of the time. Yeah, you've but sometimes it, sometimes I feel like a lot of breakups are due to misunderstanding as well. Like yeah, but I feel like you can't misunderstand this stuff three times. Yeah, you can. That's crazy in my opinion. And you look just aren't well, well suit because why the F is it taking you this long to communicate? Fair Man enough. City had it 115 times. Who? Um, Man City. <laughs> See, we always go back to football, you know. Uh, but what about those friends who, when they are trying to get over a girl, post on social media? How do you feel about that? Do you have any advice for those people who, you know, sometimes- Trying to get over a girl and they post her on their socials. What do you mean? No, no. like they, So, you know, those friends who use social media to get over a girl, it's like they're posting like very clear oh, stuff. Oh, subliminals. Of, yeah. Little subliminals. How do you feel? Is that, is that something you do or do you endorse that? Or are you going the other way? You're no, like, don't I go think on for social. me, I understand it. Because obviously it's high, you're, just, it's a, you're emotional. You're just a mess. You're not really thinking clear. Like you'll look back on that in a month's time and think, why was I doing that? So- you can't tell someone how to react and how to feel about a situation. You get it? So I understand everybody vents differently. Everybody handles 
grief, quote unquote, differently. Because obviously you feel like you've lost somebody. You know what I mean? You, they literally have, because you're used to having your girl or your boyfriend where you're messaging every day on a day-to-day -day basis. You're seeing them as often. And then randomly, they're not there in your life anymore. You know how weird that is? So I do understand where you're coming from, but I would suggest just staying off social media and actually giving yourself time to heal and not just clouding your judgment. Because all of a sudden you just swipe on Instagram and you see a girl that you used to chat to before your girlfriend. And then you're just going to hurt her feelings because you want to, you know what I mean? Use her as a rebound. Just take time off, man. I think the only time it's acceptable to do that is when you're using it in an art form. So like if you're a painter, you want to paint a picture that shows your heart's been broken or M music. Yeah. Look at music, bro. Half yeah. of the songs that me and you, especially you more so, because you listen, you're an R&B fan. Um, half of them songs are about breakup, bro. Yeah, or no, like I a get girl it. leaving him or do you get no, what I'm no, saying? Mate, if you want to make music about great music, that's great. I feel like certain people, when they were in relationships and then they break up, they make the best music when they break up. Mm. There's certain relationships, I want to be broken up just Drake so I can hear the music. Drake is, is, is one of those phenomenons. Yeah, the, he, the, the tune about Georgia Smith, absolutely incredible. Mm. What? But, but yeah, man, take time off, just enjoy yourself. But obviously I'm not going to now fault you for making a mistake for going on social media and, and doing subliminals and indirects. You know what I mean? It's childish, but you're allowed to be, you're emotional. Yeah. While we're here, um, you know the Nelly and Kelly song, Dilemma? Yeah. 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 Do. Ah. That was um, good. That sounded good. That was good. I love you. Crazy. Need you. Nah. Good song. But who was right in that situation? Like, does no one ever think of the guy that she's... She, to be she, fair, I think she's incorrect because she was on Microsoft Excel when she was pretending to be on her phone. So she's in the wrong for, for me personally. <laughs> the fact she's acting like she's texting someone, she's on Microsoft Excel. Have you, have you guys? I don't remember the video. Probably you know. Okay, I'm, that's you know what I'm talking about. Nelly, or no, uh, Kelly Rowland was actually in the music video pretending to text somebody, but she was on Microsoft Excel. What was she doing on uh, Microsoft Excel? She pretended like she was texting somebody. That from there on out, she's in the wrong. So shout out to Kelly, man. And Nelly's got the flipping little. Who? Uh, tell me now. Did you ever used to put the sticker on your face? No. The plaster. No. Did you? Uh, yep. To no, add Nelly. Never. Yep. To add Nelly. I used to do it. I never. Anyway, moving on to the next dilemma. This is quite a long one. Okay. My girl had to go overseas for a trip, but she had no money. So I spotted her, which is fine. No problem. But I asked for one thing and that was th that she doesn't get a tattoo. For some reason, her girl mates like to get drunk tattoos. I asked her not to when I handed her the money. She comes back from the place with this horrific tattoo and says, it's just a tattoo. Why am I so cut? Am I the bad guy? for being a bit cut. No, no. No, me, we're doing this one in um, uh, role in play, acting form. In acting form. And then we're going to give you the answer after. I'm the girl. You're the girl, yeah, of course. You're the yeah. best at that, yeah. Um, all right, so what is this now? When I'm yeah, so, no, so, so I think you need to replay, you need to play so two I'm, I'm, scenarios. So first of all, scenarios. you need to do, uh, you need to do handing, handing the money, money over, and yeah. giving so the caveat. You have to ask me the money for the tattoo, tattoo. go on. Yeah. Like. Three, two, one. You're right, Ronald. Yeah. Uh, just gonna <laughs> go on. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best for coming up with names on the spot. Why am I Ronald? <laughs> What's wrong with Ronnie? That's a horror name. All right, cool, go on. I'll call you Ronnie though. Yeah, yeah go I'm on. in love with you. Yeah, yeah. Ronnie? Yeah? Uh, me and the girls are going to Ibiza. Oh, uh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're all right then, whatever. Yeah, go on. What do you mean? I was really. I told you I don't like that place, but all right, go yeah, on. Yeah, I know, but it's, it's that, that's where Belinda's having a, a, a honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. Um, and is it all right if I just get some money? Because well, I've, I've, I've paid for the TPIs this month yeah. and I've, I've put it all through the systems. I, I'm a bit down at the moment. All right, well, listen, I'll give you that money. Yeah. But please do me a favour, because I know you say you and your girls, you, when you, you get drunk, you have a bit of fun and you like to get tattoos. And please, for the love of God, yeah, Belinda, don't. Do that. Well, it's a conversation I did want to have with you. This is this is a little one I, I do want to get. Well, I'm not gonna give you the money. If all you right, all right, babe. But I, I won't. I all won't. Right, all right. You sure? Yeah. All right. Cool. Well, thank you, Ronnie. No, you you have a bigger problem with the friends who get the tattoos. Okay. You should express too. that problem. Because you know your mates, Katie, yeah. Yeah, Beth, all those crazy little girls. Yeah. Yeah. When they have a little bit of a drink, they go crazy. Well, what's that got? And to they influence you, don't what, they? What's that got to do? Because with... they they do. Because you're a gullible girl. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. No, you, you are. I've never though. followed them. I'll give you the money. Just Fucking please. Julie sniffs. I don't sniff, Ronnie. Yeah, well, God, God forbid. We don't want that, do we? You know what I'm saying? I'll give you the money. Just please, please don't get a tattoo. Okay, I, yeah. I, I won't. There you go. Just analysing the situation. Is that manipulative at all? You're giving someone some cash and you're giving it the caveats. Would you do no, that? I yeah, think, no, I yeah, no, no, no. I don't think that is. No, it is though. Nope. Because if, if nope. I'm a grown ass woman. Yeah. Why... Is you giving me money determined on you helping me? I'm not saying that. I'm not saying this. That. You just said nope, that Katie and J Julie is an influence on me and I'm gullible. 
Because listen to what I'm saying. First of all, why are you acting like you're in a situation? <laughs> yeah, you, crazy. You just, you really? just <laughs> relax. Yeah, yeah. I'm you're saying, actually Ronnie. <laughs> no, okay. Well, in that case, yeah. yeah. Let me tell you something. I'm just saying. At the end of the day, relationships are about compromise. Correct yeah. or uh, incorrect? It, correct. So if now I'm uncomfortable about you doing a certain something to your body, fair enough, of course it's your body, I get it. But I'm just saying, oh, babe, I've got a problem with this. I'm not saying if you do this, I'm threatening you and say, if you do this, I'm gonna do this. It's not that. I'm just saying it will make me upset if you do this. Yeah. And it's like, you don't have to do it. Obviously, if you wanna do it, do it. And of course we can have that conversation after. But I'm just saying for me, I feel like same way if now if the girl says to me, I, I don't like when you do this. Like mm. if, I, if I don't have to do it, I won't do it. You know what I'm trying to say? Ronnie, like, I'm back. Boom, boom. Right, babe, right, that was it. Amazing. Um, wait, 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 wait. Sit down and sit, Ron. Oh. Sit down. What happened? Look. Lifts up shirt. It, it's only a little one. For fuck's <laughs> sakes. Oh, come on, Ron. I'm fucking <laughs> suck you till you're dry tonight. <laughs> Catherine, first of all, I accept. But why on earth did you get that done? When I asked you not to do that. It's always been a dream of mine, Ron. To get a tattoo it represents of a pina colada on your flipping no, waist. It, it represents my nan's favourite drink. Are we used to call my, my nan Pina. <laughs> 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 so no, no, no. Real, real stuff though, real stuff. What then now, bro? Is something sentimental to her that makes her feel we, connected with We can work past her. it. We can't work past it. Do you know what I mean? But I also feel like you've disrespected me as well. Because at the end of the day, if you were going to get it guaranteed, you should have sat me down and said, I'm getting it. Why mm. didn't we have a conversation before you left Ibiza? Mm. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like that's just you're conniving, but you're doing, you're doing, you don't, obviously don't respect my word because I, we left this conversation as you're taking the money and you're not going to get this, so, this tattoo. So, so why are you getting this tattoo then? So, so would, the, would the size of it make a difference no, in the no, dilemma's case? No, for me, it's not about the, the size of the It's the fact tattoo. that you got the tattoo. It's the fact that I've asked you to not do it and you've done it without even consult, like asking me, without, you didn't do anything, bro. Mm. Like, I understand, fair enough, it's your body, but I'm saying at least let's have a conversation about it. why are you doing something about when we, when we didn't even speak yeah. about it. And when you've agreed not to. Well, yeah. it depends. It depends. R read the dilemma one more time for me, please. My girl had to go overseas for a trip, but she had no money. So I spotted her, which is fine. No problem. Feels a little bit like passive aggressive. Yeah, to yeah, me. yeah, yeah. Fine, which is fine. No problem. No problem. Yeah. No, no problem. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Um, but I asked for one thing that does feel like it comes with a caveat and that she doesn't get a tattoo. For some reason, her girl mates like to go get drunk tattoos. I asked her not to when I handed her the money. She comes back from the place with this horrific tattoo and says it's just a tattoo. Why am I so cut? Yeah. Well, yeah, you, you just said it's just a tattoo. You've disrespected your man. It's not something that means something. I'm so against tats, by the way. I just think that if-, if you, Just from if a religious you, standpoint, you, I wouldn't she, get a tat, I wouldn't get a piss, and we get none of that. If she accepted- uh, the fact to take the money and in that case she wouldn't do a tattoo and then she did the tattoo without telling her man that's disrespectful but then of course it does kind of, kind of does sound caveat-ish and you've given her the money early on the you should just want to give your girl money if she's abroad you know what I mean mm. like if that's your girl you know what I mean so it's it's people there's, there's pros and cons to both I feel like he's right to some respect she's right to some respect mm. but I feel like at the end of the day she ended up getting a tattoo without telling him that's crazy. What would you do? Would you tell him break up? No, nah, I don't think it's worth the breakup. I think breakup is very, um, maybe a bit over the top potentially, especially like, but then of course. What about if she knew though, that she was going to get it? She's now lied to him. Is that not worth? At the end of the day, everybody have, has different reasons to break up. You know what I mean? He might think that this is something bigger than we feel like. And then like, we're not going to tell somebody how to feel about a situation. So if he feels like the next necessary thing to do is a breakup, then fair play, go for it, bro. Mm. But I think in my opinion, if I was in the, his, his situation, I probably would feel like we'd have to have a serious conversation about that. Because any day for me, it's different. I date to marry. I don't date just to just to for the sake of it. Same. You know what I mean? So at our like, age now, anyway. Yeah, at our age anyway. So grown ass got, man. For me, obviously, if my girl is obviously with a Muslim now, and then I'm talking to her, and she's telling me talking about I got no, nah, but she wouldn't even get attached. Got a tattoo. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say. Um, do you want a final dilemma? Yeah, could yeah. do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. This one might be a bit sad. Why? Uh, Hi guys. I'd like to stay anonymous, please. What's that name? <laughs> uh, user. <laughs> I'm a 20 year old girl and I have a boyfriend who's cheated on me twice. Yeah, there, man. I really love him, but I don't think I can walk away from him. He's expressed his remorse countless times and told me he's willing to change. I don't want to give up on him, 
but I can't lie. Well, you My stay there and keep broken. on getting hurt, man. Simple as that. You stay there and keep on getting hurt. Like, cool, I understand may, maybe making a mistake once, but twice. Cool, man. I, I, I've got literally nothing to say. Like, that, fucking hell, bro. <laughs> like, like, come on, man. No, I'm, am I alone no, here? I hear it, no, I hear it. Come on, love man. It, love it. So yeah, far, yeah, yeah. you're sending like... But one thing I will say is she can't see it from your point of view because of the fact she's the one in love. You know when you're in love, yeah? Every red flag gets ignored. She ain't in love. She's brainwashed. There's a difference, bro. If Fair, she was okay. in love, she would know that this brother doesn't love her back, bro. How can, you, how can you cheat on someone twice and be with them and claim you're in love? Fez, that's right. Or am I just deluded? No, I, the trust I... thing. It's the trust thing, right? Yeah, it's like, trust. She, she don't trust him. Like she will never trust him again. I feel like he should. He should. He knows that his girl's infatuated with him. Just leave her, man. You're taking a piss. She deserves someone better, bro. I think for me, the advice I'd give to the girl is: it's, it's not. He's not worth you're it. You're 20 man. years you don't old. You've got your, your whole. You're, you're, yeah, you're in your prime, man. You're gonna find. You even reached that. your prime yet? Two five, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. For me, honestly, G darling, give us some real advice because I'm just being a little bit arrogant. Nah, darling. Honestly, yeah. Hear, hear what I'm saying. It's not worth it. I think mm. um, the fact that this guy isn't respecting you, he doesn't show you the love that you're showing him, the fact that you're willing to compromise your... Because I think if someone was to ask you and you were before in the relationship, if, if, oh, would you let your man cheat on you twice and you'll still be with him, you'll probably be like, are you crazy? But because of the fact that you feel like you are in love, you're letting violations slide. And for your sake, I feel like if you even spoke to your dad and mom about it, I know for a fact they don't know about it. Because if you told them, they'll tell you, are you taking the effing piss? Get the hell out of that. Ooh. You have to respect well, yourself. maybe she don't know no better because her dad's cheated and her mom's took him back. Well, then in that case, then you're just in a vicious cycle then. Deeper. I think for me, the advice I'd give to you generally is just get out of that, honestly, yeah. because he don't respect you. He don't rate you. He's going to carry on doing it and keep saying, babe, I'll change, I'll change. But he's not going to, especially if he's cheated twice already and you're only 20. How long are you in this relationship? Mm. Get out of that, man. If you find out someone's cheated in a previous relationship, does that change the way you treat them in your relationship now? I think that's unfair because you shouldn't get into the relationship with somebody if you know that they've, if you're going to get paranoid after being in that relationship, that's unfair on them. You knew what they were, you accepted them for what they were. So how am I going to judge them based on past mistakes? Obviously I understand being a bit more wary potentially, but you can't let them know that you actually have a problem with the fact they cheated in the past because you look past it. I think if I was to date someone like that, I'd just be paranoid nonstop. Then there's no point of being in there's that no relationship. Point, yeah, you're there's right. no point of being in that relationship. That's what I'm saying. It's unfair on both parties mm. because he might generally have changed and mm. then he's there thinking, let me do X and X, Y for my girl because I want to make her feel like she's special and then all of a sudden she's always like, wait, what are you doing? It's like, I haven't mm. done anything. I was generally going out to do stuff for you and it's going to just be toxic. Yeah. There's no point in that situation. It's like either you don't so then, care about So then that. don't you tell the person that you've cheated in a previous relationship if you was the person that cheated? Yeah, well, if you're the if you're Ooh. okay, now listen to this now. If you've been in a past relationship and you cheat on your girl, and that's the reason it broke up, it finished, sorry, and then she's now asked you, Oh, yeah, why, why did, did you, you break, up? break up? And you said it was because I cheated on her, and she accepted you for it, that's fine. If you said a different reason and then she finds out after, then she could be upset about it mm. because you lied to her. Mm. There you go. Starting a relationship on lies can never be good, never. And with that being said, I don't need interest her. Oh, you want to finish the video? Wait, Can I give you... Because when this is coming out, I've got a real good dilemma for you. I just feel... Only this time of year. Go go on. On. Can I give it to you? Yeah, yeah, of course cool. you can. Uh, that's, so, that's crazy. You, you, so you said, can I give it to you? You said, yeah, go on. It's mental. Yeah, crazy. But Fear. take... You uh, said you love me. I'm like, I love you on the last podcast. What's I do love him now. Yeah, yeah no, but it was love, love different to love. wanting to give it to, something to someone. Good point. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's different. But shout out to Philly though, man. <laughs> <laughs> go on then. Let me get Vaseline. By the way, my lips are dry in the ass. I got the... Watch, watch this. Are you fine? No, there's the chair. Where's this from? Ah, uh, Qatar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Qatar Airways, to be exact. Go on, bro. We're listening. I've just left, left home and I'm alone in a new city for the first time. Yo, what city are you in? <laughs> for New Year, I want to go out and get a midnight kiss. Is that, is that a thing? Bro, What's, yeah. then? What's my tactic? Wait, where is, she, where, where is this a girl or boy? Girl. And where is she? It doesn't say, it just says new city. Uh, all right, if you're in a new city, you just, you, you discover the, the, the place that's popping. Go on hinge, go on hinge. Go on hinge. No, nah, you can't, you can't give any case. of this kind of hinge advice. Yeah, this isn't, this, it's not a hinge thing. I think we've got to give real life. Cause, no, because now look, I'm going to pretend like you're in London. She's a gal, yeah? You're a girl, you're in London. I'd suggest 9.33, you step out your, grip, your crib, you go to, where did they do the fireworks in Central? 
Near the London Eye. Near the London Eye. You go there by yourself and you target an area which has got single men that you like. Target and an area. Yeah. Genuinely, it's real Disagree, life. disagree. And no. then you start a conversation with somebody at around 11.30. Nope. Chat to them for about 30 minutes. 11.59, you want to go for their lips. You're like, oh, it's midnight. Doesn't work like then that. Then you go for the kiss. If That's you my think opinion. you're on a bridge looking at fireworks and you're going to suck someone's face, you're delusional. What Rather, do you mean? Rather, you've got to be in a sort of setting. You've got to be at a bar, a club, a restaurant that has a bar or a loud environment. Bro, I'm just trying you to be more romantic. Yeah, well, maybe. we're not doing that. Because fire, like, fireworks are licking off and you're hearing them and your lips in. Yeah, that's doesn't crazy. work like that. All right, cool. Well, what are you going to say? Go to a bar, my professional love. Professional lips, huh? Go to a bar. Yeah. You get, are you going to be there? Dance. A sweat. No, I'm not in there. <laughs> I'm not in there. I'm somewhere else. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Just tell me. Where are you I'm be in at? my yard streaming, which you should follow me on on Twitch. 12 o'clock. Yep. On New Year's. Bro. I was on for seven and a half hours last night. I know, night. you lost your mind yesterday. Yeah, but um, so no, seriously, I think you've just got to be in an environment where men are also looking for the same thing. If I've gone to go see fireworks, I don't want to kiss. I'm with my mates. I genuinely want to see the fireworks. Do you get what I'm saying? So go to a bar, go to a club, and I guarantee you'll get, you'll get the kiss. Women have the power. Men don't. If you say no, it's a no. If you say yes, it's a yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so right. you are in control of that kiss. So go to a place. Have you seen anyone, good question. Have you seen any of our brethren, <laughs> them guys that are like high value man, uh, quote unquote, and like a girl will try to move to him and he's like, nope. Me. Crazy. And Is you, it? You've had a girl try to move to you and you're like, no. I'm yeah, I hear that. But so I'm saying, we... I, just, I want to hear that from you. Can you yeah. give us an, a previous experience? Because mm. I well, want to know I, I, the I, shame I, I... they felt. Like, I'll just act oblivious to it. Like, oh, I've, I've had to, like, seen us. you've seen me, innit? I'll be like at a table somewhere. And like, naturally, when you get a table, girls come over, innit? Obviously, yeah. free drink. There's probably more of a vibe rather than just being on a dance floor. I don't know. Probably just a free drink. Yeah. Um, and like, girls will try like dance next to you. Not yeah. necessarily like wine on, man. Yeah. But just this one. And I'll just, do, I'll just be like. <laughs> and get away from them. Like, drink, and how come, how can we do that? I'm not feeling them. Uh, you know okay. what I mean? Like I'm a man that has a lot to offer and I'm a catch. So yeah, yeah, if catch. you end up with me, you're laughing. Yeah. Same way that the woman I'm going to end up being with for the rest of my life, I'm laughing because she's a catch. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. if I'm looking at you and I'm not like, you're a catch. Like, don't get me wrong. I do love a fat bum, but that yeah. ain't enough, man. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, you can't just have a fat back and think that man's interested. Like, you've got to be a catch. You know what I mean? Mm. So yeah, um, yeah. So okay. you, you're, 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 you're a high value man. Do you get what I'm saying? In terms of your status. Oh, I'm a, I'm a catch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your money long, you know what I mean? Yeah. Handsome boy. Thank you. So man. yeah, man, you just got to know. And when I came in this, came in this position. Yeah, you, know, yeah, you have to finish that quickly. Yeah, when I, when I evolved, <laughs> when I evolved to the man that I am yeah, now, yeah. I realized that and I was like, whoa, this is sick. Yeah. Like people are drawing me now. Like it's not even me doing all the legwork. Like this is kind of sick. You know what Mental. I mean? Um, but yeah. Good place, man. What's the advice on how to get, not a high value man, but just not anyone at midnight? You know, you don't, you don't want to be desperate for the kiss it at depends. midnight. You have to go up some, man. You have to go. The settings where you're settings. going. If you're going Shoreditch now to a house wave where everyone's on a pill and wearing sunglasses, you're not cap. Can't go to house raves. Is it? Yeah. But I swear you hate the music. You but always in put beef, on No, nah, but when I'm in beef, I give it some. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm there. So it just depends. I don't know. It just depends. Like, obviously, but nine times out of ten, if you go Yo, to- Yo, go Chilton. Chilton in, in Central. Have you heard you know about Chilton? Is it called Chilton Firehouse or Chilton? Yes. It's, yeah, that place is up, sir. I see, I see Jamie Foxx in there recently. That's a rock. Amy, you see Amy. Jamie Foxx. Yeah, Amy I see, Ox. Obviously, I was with Skeppy as well in there. There's a couple of men that are like proper, proper oh, famous. Oh, you, what? You, you and Skeppy Row? Yeah, me and Skeppy Row. I uh, mean, Drew Lipa was in there as well, just chilling. I <laughs> uh, having dinner. And, um, uh, Mick Jagger was in there. Like, you know what I mean? Serious people in there. Storms. Like, Chilton. If you want to go Chilton, <laughs> like, that's where you kind of see the upvalued man. Yeah, yeah, and That's yeah. where you'll see the serious brothers, so. No, but I feel like the point Trunks is trying to make, just go to places where you feel like upvalued people are. And they necessarily might not be up value because that day in Chilton, yeah. that day in Chilton, I don't know, a guy that works in MS, his boss got him a table there. So it doesn't necessarily mean he's up value, but Best. you're more than likely to, see to find an up value man 
in areas where up value people are. Yeah. That's you know good what I'm though. Saying? That's good though, because you, if you get that MNS guy, he might be on the come up and then you can sort of, all you know, of a sudden all the way up. The regional manager a, but then years. having yeah. said that, he could be regional, me and you yeah. will still eat out of a, a Sam's or a Morley's and I'd, if it was a quick one, I'd sit in there and munch my, my chicken quick and come up. Yeah, Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's luck, sometimes man. it's just luck. luck. It's luck. It's but luck. then you can increase your luck by going to certain places. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So where do we find up valued women? Same same joint. High same women. scenario. Do you want to have valued women? Not bothered. I just want a woman that loves me <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. can look after same. me and cares for me and holds the back of my neck when I drive. Wow. And just yeah. What's your love language again? Did you tell me? Um affection, touch. Uh yes, physical touch. Yeah. Why do you like to touch your neck, your face? Just anywhere, bro. Even yeah. places that don't matter to me. Just do this while we're watching TV. Like I'm that. currently rubbing my arm up and down. Yeah. You know what I mean, just dumb shit, bro. Yeah. Like, I'd like it. First. Tell me you're there. Tell me you're alive as well. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like all that. Let's make it, oh, I can't wait to get married, man. Start a little family, man. Wow. Serious, bro. How many kids do you want? As many as God can give me. I'm wow. Alive. Genuinely. Seven. As many as God can Say give me. I'm alive. alive. Yeah, on God, bro. You wouldn't have bare kids if yeah, you could yeah, have yeah. the chance to. Yeah, football team. Yeah, bro. So genuinely, I'd love that, bro. And obviously, if I'm still in a position I'm in now, I know I can look after them. And obviously, if money starts running tight, then I won't have that many. But can you name your son after me, Chunks? No, Chunks. Yeah, name a Colombian boy, Chunks. That's horror. What about I mean? Yeah, that's it means different. That's a nice name. Yeah, that's thank different. You, bro. Appreciate that. You know what I mean? But I like the names Alejandro, Sebastian. They have. That's another. Is that thing. how you say Sebastian? Sebastian, yeah. <laughs> that, Sebastian. Yeah. The other thing is, is that my kids have to have Latin names. No, have to have Latin names. Latin names. Yeah, Camila. Uh, so go on, yeah, give, me, give me two boys, two girls. I like Camilo and I like Camila. I've always said if I have... Oh, Camilo and Camila. Yeah. Yeah, very good. That's the boy. Yeah. Girl, 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 yeah. Twins. They were twins, boy, girl. Cold. Camilo, Ca Camila. Yeah, cold. Ay, cuéntate. Yeah, cuéntate. <laughs> <laughs> siéntate. <laughs> Why are you talking to them like they're dogs? Man says, siéntate. Because <laughs> how you said to pimp on, that's Yeah, why. but you, you say dogs. Oh, you, don't say, you don't say sit down like that? Yeah. What do you say to them? Do you just say siéntese? Siéntese. You don't go, siéntese. Like, that's what they get angry if they get you mad though. Oh, you're fair. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I put that in under there. He's just he's just saying stuff that he hears me say. Yeah, basically. Yeah. Isis? What about that? Oh no, the name, the name for a daughter. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you got shook. He said, "Why is Lawrence just said oh, that?" At, at, at Lawrence said, "I just went." What do we do now? What happened? No, remember we spoke yeah, the about name. Nah, the name. Not for me. Negative connotation. Ice Spice's name, by the way. If you've just tuned into the podcast for some weird reason, <laughs> imagine, at a later stage. imagine putting on the podcast and falling into an hour three minutes. <laughs> yeah, you're an effing weirdo. Yeah, get away from this section. If you, um, you know what I mean. If you no, have watched it, this, it, it, you know what I want to know? I want to see your attention. If you have watched until this point, we do appreciate you. And just comment down in the comments below, I Spice. And, yeah. And that will show us if you've watched to the whole bit. Yeah. I yeah. like that. It means woman of the throne, which I actually quite like as a in name. What? In what? No, um, it's an Egyptian thing. And in, in Greek, oh, it, it means an Egyptian throne. Oh, Isis. Oh, you, you've heard it yeah, before? Yeah, well, you know I have, Yeah, no, I don't know someone, but I've okay. heard of that. Oh, well, I have. Well, yeah, since, we're there, since we're there quickly, what would you, you got, uh, give me one boy name that you'd like for um, your I'm son. I'm that secret. Okay, first. I feel like people keep it, I can't pop in my life. Uh, is it? It's, it's top tier names and it's like, it's different. Rare? Yeah, rare. Muslim names? Yep. Oh. Arabic. Well, they can't be that rare. No, 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 no. I've never met anybody with these names. Yeah, me personally. To be fair, like, even my, my name's had a kind of rare. I've only met two people with my name. Met about a hundred, it means. Say Wallahi? No Wallahi. There you go, see? Yeah. I haven't, I've met two people. When they say my name is mean, I'm like, oh shit, what that's me? <laughs> and they spell it a bit wrong. Mohammed though, that's quite, that's common. Mohammed's the most common uh, male's name in the world. Ah. Oh. What? Mohammed is the most common male name in the world. Shout out to all the Mohammeds. Do you know the most common surname in America is for a male? Smith. Where's that from? Uh, my video, but it's good. Yeah. But it's good thing. Yeah, called. Yeah. And the most common girl's name? Laura. No, Olivia. Olivia Bates. Some girl <laughs> that went to my primary school. <laughs> Whenever I hear the name Olivia, Olivia Bates, Bates, I think of Olivia Bates. Shout out Philly, man. He's missing you. No, no, it's not Why that. do you remember uh, her name like that then? Because she was the longest girl in my primary school. Yeah, so she probably, you only want to see how she looks now? No, not really. Is it? No. You reckon just... me? No. Oh. She's a pretty girl. Yeah. Olivia Bates. I know you're somewhere in Bromley. Shout out my brother, man. No, she didn't live in Bromley. She lived in another end. But it's Kent, too Kent. much information. Shout to... out to Kent, man. Bro, Olivia what, Bates. What? Olivia <laughs> Bates. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? I know them girl at Blue Water. Let's blew her again. No, she didn't live around them ends. She probably Fuck, went man. one time. 
Lewis, him. But yeah, uh, Olivia oh, Bates. Nice girl, man. Yeah, the sisters and mum was lovely as well. Why are we chatting about <laughs> Olivia Bates from primary school? That's over like, not even 10 years ago. That's 15. 20. Bloody hell. 20, bro. Hope you're well, though. Alive and well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alive and well. Young. It's 20 years ago. Well, I was. I'm 28, bro. Yeah. So I'm the one that's 23. All right, well, we're wrapping the podcast now. Um, oh, let us know in the comments down below what you want to hear us talk about because I want to have debates and conversations. And Yeah, and also comment I Spice. And if you're here now, you know why, because Chunks explained it. Um, God bless you. Take care. We appreciate you as always. Thank you so much for listening. Um, people that are watching, thank you so much for watching and listening. Um, and also thank you for the support. We, had, we did say it in the last podcast, but genuinely, hand on heart, we really do appreciate it. As you can see, my brother's tired, but we got another one to film after this. So yeah, God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye. Subscribe, like, comment, and hit the post notification bell.